Welcome to the Braybon Metabite training video. This video shows you the fundamentals of obstructive sleep apnea waveforms. This particular screen image is courtesy of Fisher and Pico Healthcare. On this screen image, you can see that there's event types, airway cross section, flow through airway, inspiratory flow shape, and flow tracing. If you look down in a column format, normal breathing is characterized by the largest opening in the airway cross section. There is no obstruction and a clear flow of air through the upper airway. A typical waveform is semi-sinusoidal and unobstructed flow. This particular graph shows you the inspiratory and expiratory phases of breathing. This would be associated with both airflow and respiratory effort. A slight narrowing of the upper airway is indicated by flow limitation. Here you see a partially obstructed airway and a flattening on the inspiratory waveform. So by definition, anytime you see a plateau or flattening on the inspiratory waveform, that would be a flow limited event. Obstructive hypopnea would be a reduction in airflow of 50% or more of baseline with a 3% desaturation or a reduction of 30% or more with a 4% desaturation, each lasting for at least 10 seconds in duration. You can see again the cross-sectional airway is smaller than in flow limitation and substantially smaller than during normal breathing. There is increased obstructed airway indicated as a partial obstruction. There is further flattening and reduced flow. This is observed in the Metabyte Junior recording as a reduction in both airflow and respiratory effort. And finally, obstructive apnea is a reduction in airflow of 90% or more of baseline, lasting at least 10 seconds. You can see a cessation of airflow in the airway channel indicated as such.